it's what bothers me about the Australian government is, um, and I'm not one of those Christians that thinks, you know, that the Antichrist is just around the corner. I don't. But I do think that, well, that's just me <laughs> because I, I get into so many fights with other Christians. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but I do think that um, that in every century of the last, I don't know, thousand years or whatever, 2,000 years, there is going to be those moments where uh, Christians are persecuted. It just seems to keep happening. And we're not suffering like the Middle Eastern Christians who get killed for, for their thought crimes and for their faith in Christ. But we're certainly like churches are closed. We can't go, we can't go to church. And it's not even about us. Like what about the Jews who feel the same thing about fellowshipping with their, what about Hindus? What about like anyone who, who, who has that, um, that feeling of community in a building of worship, even though the church is the people, and I know that everyone be quiet. Um, it is, it does concern me. It bothers me. Do, and do, do you think the government has a right to, to, to make those sorts of decisions on behalf of people who, who consider that a, an essential? I mean, Definitely. I go to Victoria, I, I can, I can get a prostitute easy in Victoria Go me, yeah, the, but I they're can't. They're not affected by the lockdowns, but the churches are shut down by the lockdowns. But prostitution's not. Yeah, so that's that's a okay. Yeah. <laughs> so no, the ch the um, church should not be uh, constrained, censored by the by the by the uh, governments at all. At all. Um, not at all. No, they, yeah. there should be freedom of worship, freedom of speech, freedom of thought, freedom of belief. All of these things have been knocked out. Freedom of uh, expression. Freedom of. Um, interaction, freedom of exchange, freedom of to belong, freedom of association, freedom of movement. All of these things have been stifled. And, and let's face it, the church, the proper church, um, espouses the teachings of Christ and Buddha's teachings, I think, are wonderful as well. Um, now, th those those give us freedom no matter what happens. You know, Viktor Frankl said that the Nazis could control him in the prison of war camp. They could control everything except his feelings and his attitude. He mm -hmm. was the master of those. And so what you do is you, when you strip away the church, the church brings two things. It bring, brings some connection with the universal. Depends on the teaching, of course. But it also, the great religions have a common themes behind them, principles of, of behaving, charter, charter of um, behavior, if you like, code of conduct. Uh, and and, the, and the, the control apparatus in a government doesn't like that because it makes you independent of the government, harder to control. They want to strip away religion. Communism's been doing that for 100 years now, 150 years since Marx, you know, because it was it's deliberate, it's calculated. They don't want you to think freely and to be safe and secure in your real self. And that's where the real safety and security is, in, your, yet, in our real self, you know. Yet, yet explain this. We're in an age where we have Wi-Fi, internet, more access to information than ever before, but people are stupider. How does that one work? People do, you know, they're doing exactly as you said. They are far more reliant on government. You know, daddy will protect you. Here you go. <laughs> well, it, it's a funny thing. You know, um, I've turned around quite a few businesses in my time as a manager and as a general manager of these businesses, you know, hundreds of people. Um, and when I've come there, the previous manager may have been dishonest or may have been lazy or may have been incompetent or may have been a control freak. Mm. Um, and under those circumstances, the people didn't want to make their own decisions. And so when I came along and the best way to make decisions is to make them as closely as possible to the, to the source where they're going to be implemented. So you get the workers to do it. Um, and, and so I would come along and they'd all go, Oh, hell no, we can't do that because that means responsibility, you know, but within a very short time when they can see you're trustworthy and you're competent and you're giving them a fair go, Providing we hand over the authority, then they take the responsibility. And that doesn't mean, you know, um, abandonment, giving every piece of authority, but it means giving people the authority within their abilities, within their, within their scope of work. And people love it. At first they're going, no, I can't handle it. But then they want more. And then mm. especially some of them, you know, that they, uh, it's, it's just such a wonderful thing. I'm very, very, you can probably tell, I'm very, very pro-human, extremely pro-human. Are and you pro-life? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Just <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah no, um, definitely. But being pro-human is really important because these days the, the, the ideologists from the globalists are pushing that humans are irresponsible, greedy, uncaring, uh, voracious, 
Um, and so Are they talking about evil. themselves? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Control freaks, you know. Um, <laughs> and yeah, they are talking about themselves, but that's <laughs> the, the beauty of, of our civil of our species comes when we're set free and then we can inter we can think for ourselves, we can have our own beliefs. And then I might come up with an idea. I might bounce that off you and you go, Oh, wow, that's a wonderful idea. And you see a different perspective in that than I did. And then someone else comes along and you've shared it with them and they go, wow, we can really meet some people's needs in this. And so they make it into a product or a service. And that, that liberates so many people from drudgery or, or danger or, or insecurity. And so that may have started within me. It, was blown up by you and then it completely blown up, up and made into something real for billions of people. That's the history of our civilization. Where, that's the history of human progress when people are free.